reality TV show proves to be bastion of wanton, adulterous sex. And, no, it's neither MasterChef or My Kitchen Rules. If you think BT's running this to blag free Ashes tickets, you'd be righter than Tony Abbott's right-angle triangle. A nasty tete-a-tete has erupted between the government, ABC, and BT so hates tete a tetes for those squeakly bits. This ad is dividing the BT office today. Well, it would have if half of them had even bothered to turn up, that is. You do all that body-positive stuff, you get lauded for run like a girl, and then some fool goes and stuffs it all up. This is the first of many angry stories on BT today, so brace yourself for some fist-shaking and or pencil-snapping. Why sit through KISS FM's 2018 upfronts when you could simply read this sit, stand or levitate reading it, too? Clems Melbourne's Aunt Keo jumps ship over to the monkeys. Well, not so much jump ship as handed a swag of cash. There's more chair hopping in Radioland today than a herd of rabbits at Ikea. Yes, a group of rabbits is called a herd. Realestate.com.au makes the hell of buying real estate less hellish. Sadly, the hell that is real estate agents remains. The chisels still visible under our editor's fingernails today is testament to his 12-hour Bathurst TV fest yesterday. Ad shall Roy Morgan unveil geolocating, which involves neither lasers or travel to the fourth dimension of Horlick. Why start a fire pit in the office and walk across it to feel inspired when this inspirational ad comes blister-free? Many agency Christmas bonuses are riding on these next 11 weeks, and a lot of eastern suburbs coke dealers are nervous. Couldn't afford a house even if you live 10 lifetimes this campaign is the next best thing. Yeah, it's not even close. Ad Creators announces expansion to Melbourne as staff set to be schooled in the contested Mark and Shepherding rules. Toast Creative recently won gold in the Sydney Design Awards 2017 in the service, government category for its work transforming the experience for jurors across Australia. Here's how it achieved the accolade. Overview Toast Creative provided design direction in the development of a browse-based application for jurors and potential jurors. This was developed with a Ben Pillow DIDNT sleep long on his move to 7th Street. Although, his name's Pillow, and that gag kinda backfired. Do you fear that the millennials mark the end of human endeavor intelligent thought fists do nothing to allay it? New study reveals Maya customers the most satisfied, although BT's unsure if it vouches for all four of them. The Australian Marriage Equality in partnership with MC Saatchi Sydney, our friends Electric and some of Australia's biggest music artists, celebrities, brands and entertainment personalities have come together for YesFest, a nationally broadcast concert to support love and equality for all Australians. Headed by Jimmy Barnes, YesFest will be held at Spotless Stadium. The beloved Channel 7 has delivered some of 2017's Logie winning highlights. Albeit all for their staff stuff-ups, however. It's Friday, we know you're priming the liver for the pub, so BT does loathe having to bring unsavory news like this. Think Bill Shorten makes an ideal alternative prime minister and stoic leader of the nation, think again after this. We laughed, we cried and we laughed again at last night's Gogglebox. That's not true, we were actually down the pub. Heading to the Marketing Academy's showcase lecture well, the headline is a real surprise had BT not revealed it here. Do you enjoy delicious ironies? Well, this one's more delicious than a red delicious dipped in delicious deliciousness. Is your wine buying budget greater than $1.50 but no higher than 6 well, you'll empathize with these dodgy plonk ads. Thinking of improving yourself with a new aromatherapy, Reiki or copywriting course well, hurry up if it's the latter. Do you tut or guff for it some of the dodgy studies BT publishes well, prepare your mirth and disillusionment for this. Working for Peanuts in Adland, new study finds the insertion of digital in your job title will bring home the bacon. Australian tradie website Hippages has announced the appointment of Stuart Tucker as its chief customer officer. The newly created role encompasses management of sales, service and marketing. Boasting a strong career in marketing specialist and management roles spanning more than 20 years to date, Tucker has worked for a number of the country's most well-known. Did you get giddy thinking about BT's monthly brands on Twitter update? Well, prepare the vomit bag with this news. BT so looks forward to Choice's annual Shonky Awards, primarily to make sure we're not on it. Has your mobile ad formats been called Satan's own work? Avoid a lengthy stay in Lucifer's fiery pits by reading this.
OMD Brisbane has partnered with Yahoo 7S Storytellers to launch a spring racing campaign for Triumph, curated by former Australian Miss World, celebrity and media darling Erin Holland. Traditionally skewing to an older audience, the lingerie giant aims to expand its customer base to include a younger demographic with the campaign, titled Find the One for, despise your daily bus drain from trip to work this car satisfaction poll will probably be of no interest whatsoever. Sunglasses brand Local Supply has launched its summer campaign for 2017, bringing together four talents from across Australia who embody inclusivity, diversity and creative expression. The campaign, titled For Locals Everywhere, features Sydney's Mitchell, one of the masterminds behind Acme Restaurant, Melbourne's ECCA Vandal, a highly accomplished musician and producer, Brisbane's Olia Bert ever synchronised, BT's contrarian commentator is back, this time sticking the boot into social media. But be warned it's a little long. BT has sliced, diced and baked this morning's radio ratings. And here they are, if slightly undercooked in the middle. We're clean living folks here at BT, but these trippy instant noodle ads to hark back to last weekend's Asa Bender. Michelle Guthrie's sharpened the accent is set to take it to late line that rogue jacaranda in the ABC staff car park. Last night's TV viewing was like a Ukrainian borscht occasionally undecipherable and arguably with too much nutmeg. His workforce may be in a state of revolt but these footy numbers should enable Tim Warner a satisfying chin stroke. Work in PR and planning on voting no in the same-sex referendum Our advice is don't write a press release about it. Marketing attribution stories are a style of celery, but in infographic form they magically transform to prawn cocktail. Vodafone has undergone a brand refresh including new strap, logo, positioning, clairol home color and perming wand. Chapman joins SCA's leadership team which, she stresses, doesn't include complaints about off-milk in the office fridge. If 2017's been a top year for anyone, you'd have to say it's been Casey Donovan, Smash, Avocado the Out of Homers. Do you lock yourself in the toilets when a colleague comes collecting for a charity? Prepare the engaged with this. Reflex is BT's paper of choice for all aeroplane competitions, papier-mâché sculptures when the sorbent runs low. We're loving the Chinese version of Voyeur here. At BT, not for the content, but the office cockroaches live in fear. Essential throws right old knees up to celebrate two decades. Not that BT got invited nor will we forget. Struggling to make the rent forced to drink Aldi cask vino we strongly advise you don't visit Oroton's new website. Do young people overachieving make you feel worthless and out of date? Well, we implore you not to read on. Attended PhD's merge launch event but fell asleep mid pre so fear not, as a BT journo was wide awake to pen this machine learning is a neat trick, but is it better than BT's office dog learning to shake hands, we ask it appears Kendall Jenner's taken enough time to privately grieve over her role in that awful Pepsi ad has owned up. BT's editor would love a bimmer, but has to settle for his Hyundai i30 to get lost in Westfield car parks. BT has had its rainbow flag out the window since Malcolm Turnbull committed us to a plebiscite. BT relishes a fact-based conversation as much as anyone, but hysterical fear and overreaction is just so much fun. The perils of live TV have been made apparent on the ABC's Brecky show, but how the hosts handled it was impressive. BT had the QR code tattoo completed ages ago when they were still the next best thing. We think our data's pretty safe. Year creates hot seats to promote the 2018 Commonwealth Games on the Goldie, but are they hotter than Eddie Maguire's we hear the exit strategy of Avis Chief Anthony Gregorio was reminiscent of the infamous scene from Jerry Maguire. Well it happens to be the shampoo of choice for BT's editor, whose hair is starting to resemble that of Homer Simpson. It's party time at Columbus HQ this morn, with reports one employee now has a black eye from a stray champagne cork. Creative Agency 72 and Sunny add six to its APAC team, but we haven't the faintest idea of who's who in this photo. This October, lingerie brand Honey Burdeck will launch a limited edition pink soy massage marshmallow candle to support the McGrath Foundation and Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Honey Burdeck will donate every cent from their pink marshmallow candle sales to the McGrath Foundation. In order to bring additional awareness to the campaign, Honey Burdett's in store and head, BT has formed a fierce Google search ranking rivalry with Deputy Green's leader Adam Ban. this could prove crucial. BT's editor tried submitting a photo of himself in his budgie smugglers to this new photo library, but to no avail. Not wanting to be outdone by his ex-mistress take on Seven's new workplace culture saga, Tim Warner gets involved.
Just when BT was about to launch its Christmas calendar The Men of BT comes this news ensuring our shirts stay on. Jackie Purcell joins Carrot Sydney to handle ecosystem planning, which BT can confirm doesn't involve mineral soil. BT had an augmented reality experience on Friday, but that was largely due to leaving drinks getting out of hand. BT has scrapped 10 from its Valentine's Day card list after telling us porkies about its next romance reality TV show. This creative duo from Slingshot flew the Aussie flag proudly at Spikes Asia, have kindly penned this wrap-up for BT. If you're a Hugh Jackman in Showbiz fan who ISNT, get your maracas ready, because HES back this Christmas. It seems the Daily Telly's recent claims that 10 would ditch the Formula One to cut costs has come partly true. Time shifting the footy grand final and shielding yourself from the result was as impossible as a car spot in Richmond. Blueprint Group appoints FMCG veteran to BD role amid rumours AHES also in charge of office biscuits and batteries. Sure, you might have already read about this campaign on Ad News Mumbrella, but BT's version has exclusive quotes This campaign gets BT's seal of approval because it celebrates being old and experienced, not to infer we're wise. It's only because BT's editor is on an extended Mad Monday trip that we dare mention the NRL Grand Final San Seals. Slabs of VB adorn PhD's office this morning as the agency sorts out teams for a celebratory case race after this win. Reprise comes to us with news of this regional hire, but still no news on its stapler exchange program between offices. BT's editor loves nothing more than watching classical vocal quartet Il Devo and Vivo, all while eating an iced Vovo. PR agency Haystack grows Bruce 18 by 3 impressively avoids token brick wall backdrop in photo of its newbies. Emirates is backing a trifecta of agencies to help it stay ahead of the pack at this year's Melbourne Cup. PR, social and experiential consultancy Red Agency has announced it will celebrate its 15th anniversary by rebranding to Pink Agency for the month of October. In line with Breast Cancer Awareness Month, Pink Agency will hold a number of events and initiatives designed to raise funds and awareness for the National Breast Cancer Foundation NBCF. It's Weight Watchers Fresh Boxes All Round Today at Atomic 212 Degrees HQ Today, while it's Beer Burger Day at BT Big Bad Bruce seems to have grown tired of the Tankabs saga, splashing some cash on a few shares of another TV network. The 39th Australasian Writers and Art Directors Association Award Awards Today opens for entries and announces multiple new subcategories. New categories are included in craft in advertising, film, print, poster outdoor, public relations, radio, direct marketing, digital and branded entertainment and content. Early bird discount of 10% ends on Monday the 16th of October, with 10 Scuttles claims it's set for cost-cutting exercise, as BT's editor Scuttles rumors HES the serial office farter. The last time BT's editor was heard saying I want to do bigger things, he was reaching for a pack of laxatives. BT and Kennard's hire get along, except for the time we strapped a wood chipper to the back of Boda's a burly machine.